What's going on YouTube? Snipes here with TKO Gaming. Here we are with the three top pulse rifles in the game. I'm gonna compare them, contrast them, tell you guys what's up, what you guys should use in the Crucible. So we're gonna start things off with the Clever Dragon. Look at that kill time. That kill time is absolutely crazy. It's arguably the best pulse rifle in the game. A lot of people are saying, hey, use high caliber rounds. It doesn't do as much damage to the body, but it rewards those individuals that can get headshots. So if you can get headshots with the Clever Dragon, you're gonna destroy people. I'm telling you, you're gonna destroy people. The second one is the Blind Perdition. Does a little bit more damage than the Clever Dragon. The kill time is roughly about the same, but the good thing about the Clever Dragon is the fact that it highlights your opponents in red. So for example, if somebody throws a smoke at you, or if somebody throws something crazy where you're blinded and you can't see, and you scope in, you'll see them outlined. So it'll be easier for you to get a headshot. Their name will still pop up no matter what weapon you use, but if you use the blind perdition, it'll actually show up as like their whole outline. You can actually shoot them in the head and kill them. Now check out the body shot damage difference. Now keep in mind, I made sure my brother had max armor on his hunter. So you're seeing this on a max armor individual. With the blind perdition, if someone doesn't have max armor, you'll be able to four shot body shot kill them with the blind perdition. However, that's not true with the clever dragon. So that's something to consider as well because look at that very minimal health. Now if someone's running a titan with max armor, think twice, that shit's never happening. They don't even die. You can unload your whole gun on them and they won't die. Now the third one is the Grasp of Malik. Grasp of Malik is very, very similar to the Clever Dragon. However, the base stats are just a little bit less than the um, Clever Dragon. And I will show you guys the rolls on all three of my Pulse Rifles as well, how I like to set them up. Now keep in mind, Blind Perdition, the Adept version, comes with the hidden perk of Snapshot. That is, you can only get that from the Lighthouse Chest, and as you guys know, we help you get to there every single week, every single day Trials is live. Please do tune into our live stream. The link is in the description below. If you have not yet been there, and if you have not clicked follow, what the hell are you waiting for? Get over there, join the family. Anyways, let's get back into it. Look at that kill time. The Grasp of Malik and the Clever Dragon kill time is about the same, all right? Now I'm just gonna go to the wall and I'm gonna show you guys kind of like the kick of each gun, the recoil of each gun. You'll get a good idea of what it is. What I notice is the recoil is about the same. However, the Blind Perdition recoil goes straight up in a straight line. So if you aim for like the chest neck area, you're most likely gonna hit and kill your opponent while you're getting shot because it's a very important thing. I really hope this video helped you guys out. Please do hit that subscribe button if it did for more comparison, more guides, more tutorials. And uh, we're just gonna keep trying to help you guys the best that we can. Thank you guys so much. Please do drop a like in the video if you liked it. Let's see if we can get 500 likes and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.